The heat, it is on. So you can imagine what it must feel like battling flames. Firefighters in full gear were still on scene this afternoon after a fire burned through a home on Napier Avenue. They say the fire started around 5.30 this morning on the second floor of the home, but they don't know what caused it. Investigators say two people live there, but they weren't home because they didn't have air conditioning. So how do fire crews manage the extreme temperatures? Inslee Nichols shows you how firefighters cope with a double dose of heat. It's a love-hate relationship with firefighters in their gear. It keeps them protected, but they get pretty toasty. Yeah, like a sauna. I mean, it is 50 pounds of thick extra weight that firefighters like Corey Gatston put on every day. That is just the holds body heat in, and then you're already in fire, so everything with the fire and then your body heat getting held in is pretty just hot on your own body. Now take that heavy equipment and add triple-digit temperatures outside. It starts with planning ahead. Hydrated beforehand, don't hydrate while you're doing the activity or after the activity. You just stay hydrated before, that way you don't dehydrate yourself while you're doing it because you're going to sweat a lot. So These guys aren't alone while they battle flames. EMS is right by their side. When the temperatures are off the charts, they give out water, cold, wet rags, and check the firefighters' vital signs periodically. They call it rehab. It helps firefighters steer clear of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Train a lot in the gear, so you're used to wearing it, used to wearing it out in heat. Like We go to the, our training grounds a lot, and we do it in this weather, in the gear, so it just keeps us. Uh, used to everything. So no matter how hot it gets, these guys say they are ready. In Houston County, Inza Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. Houston County Fire says they also teach courses on health and safety to all of their firefighters.